I'm Bree, and this is TJ. In 2017, we decided to break away from the norm and travel the U.S. in our custom 4x4 van and Airstream. We loaded up our two dogs, Madly and Brody, and cat Jack, and hit the road. We quickly realized life on the road is full of surprises, and our name-embracing detours fit our new life perfectly. Please subscribe, and welcome to the adventure. We left Death Valley National Park in Southern California and headed to Las Vegas. In the past, we haven't had the best of luck in Nevada, getting stuck in Reno last fall when we had to have our transmission rebuilt. Little did we know, our luck wasn't going to improve this time around. We to the Samstown KOA in Las Vegas um, and realized that I left our spare set of keys on the propane cover when we left Death Valley and appeared to have lost them. So, disappointed in myself for doing that. Mistakes do happen, but, you know, just wish it hadn't. I've been on a real losing streak lately. I actually lost my Ray-Bans when we were in Lake Havasu City. I lost my Birkenstocks and Oregon Pipe. I've been a bit of a mess lately. I don't know what's going on with that. But we're just gonna get set up and move on, right? It was a spare set of keys, thankfully, so we'll have to get that replaced so I don't lose our only set of keys. What's my specialty, TJ? Losing stuff, breaking stuff. <laughs> Are you upset with me? <laughs> it's not my favorite thing because it usually costs us more. But it happens. You more than most. But it happens. So coming to Las Vegas wasn't all about gambling and having fun for us. We actually got a a uh, paying job here doing some videography work for one of the expos. Yeah, it was a really amazing opportunity. We had a great time, saw some really cool heavy equipment, which I think TJ might have been in heaven. It was like, oh, it was amazing. It was like a boy's dream. But unfortunately, the timing of it could not have been worse. Yeah, we got here the week before all this uh, COVID-19 stuff kind of broke and got extremely serious uh, right. which meant we were at the show with thousands of people from all over the world at the worst time possible exactly yeah i mean the very next week was when they started closing schools and all non-essential businesses and things just really got real so we decided you know what let's just do a monthly raid at our campground we're gonna self-quarantine we're gonna play it safe, social distance, the whole nine yards. And so that's what we've been doing. It's been weeks now where the only time we've left the trailer is to walk the dogs. We literally haven't done anything but stay in the trailer and get work done in there. But there is a silver lining. There's always a silver lining. You've always gotta to try to find the bright side of a situation, right? Now we got lots of projects done. Uh, we're redesigning our website, which really needed an upgrade. Yeah, so hopefully by the time you guys see this, we'll have a new website. Go check it out. If it's not up yet, it's coming soon. soon. <laughs> <laughs> Among other projects that we're really excited about. All of that said, it's about the end of week three now, and we are definitely feeling stir crazy. <laughs> the dogs are, are just driving us nuts because they <laughs> want to get out and run, and, and, right. and we're you know, tired of sitting around also, so. I'm sure all of you can understand. <laughs> we're definitely stir crazy. And so today we're gonna venture out to some outdoor activities in Vegas where we can still be responsible and still social distance, but just get out of the trailer. Yeah, get out, maybe do a hike and uh, just try to get some fresh air and some, some scenery. So that's the plan. All right, let's go do it. Ready go. 
Alright, we've come to the Calico Basin Trail. It's just outside of the Red Rock Canyon National Monument. It's just a short uh, mile and a half trail out and back. And uh, just to stretch your legs a little bit, get some sunshine, breathe some fresh air. <laughs> We're already panting, you can tell we're out of shape. So Red Rock Canyon National Monument is actually um, mostly closed right now. Um, there's a 13 mile scenic drive that's closed and the majority of the trails in the park leave from that drive. But there are just a handful of trails outside of the drive that are still accessible. So that's what we're doing today. Outside. Oh my gosh. Number one, it feels super out of shape. <laughs> but this place is gorgeous. I mean, like, honestly, we're gonna have to come back and spend more time when the park is officially open. are definitely not the only ones here with this idea. Um, there's quite a few other people on the trail, but there's plenty of room that we can all keep our distance and stay the mandated six feet apart. Um, but man, it's gorgeous out here. The day is just perfect. This is just what we needed. So I don't know if it's the fact that we've been basically locked up for the past three weeks, but this place is extraordinarily beautiful. I sometimes feel like you can have like a beauty overload. Like if you see one beautiful thing after another, you start to become a little bit numb to it. And when you take a little break, it almost makes you appreciate it more. So, I'm really loving this. It's really gorgeous out here. What's next? Can you remember the name of what's next? <laughs> I think the next thing is Seven Magic Mountains. <laughs> He's called that everything other than that every other time we've talked about it. I can't even remember all the silliness you've said. <laughs> Anyways, that's where we're headed next. Seven Magic Mountains is a large-scale public art installation located about half an hour south of downtown Las Vegas. The creation of Swiss artist Ugo Rondinoni is comprised of seven towers of colorful stacked boulders standing more than 30 feet tall. According to Rondinoni, the location is physically and symbolically a midway between the natural and the artificial. The natural is expressed by the mountain ranges and desert backdrop, and the artificial is expressed by the highway and the constant flow of traffic between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Regardless if you're into art or not, TJ and I both enjoyed exploring these day glow teetering totems in the middle of the desert. This is Seven Magic Mountain behind us. It was originally only supposed to be here for two years, um, but because of the popularity of it, uh, BLM gave them a three-year permit, so it's now going to be here through 2021. I'm glad that we got out here to see it because its time is limited. It's only going to be here for, for what, about another years, year yeah. and a half? Yeah. It's in a big, wide open space. There are quite a few people here. I'm sure you can see that in the background but there's plenty of room to spread out and keep your distance and 
right you know, yeah. stay safe yeah exactly we kind of are trying to not get too close to it because yeah. you know we don't want to get close to people <laughs> right now um but yeah but very cool thing outside of vegas you know everybody comes to vegas thinking about gambling and casinos and and bright lights and there's this right. kind of thing on just just outside there's all kinds of neat things around vegas right that exactly can be done. that was originally you know what we wanted to showcase here was that the thing, how much there is to do in Vegas outside of what everybody thinks of. There's so much natural beauty around Vegas um, and we're not going to be able to see it all because of COVID-19, right. unfortunately, but between Red Rock Canyon, this art exhibit, the Hoover Dam, um, Valley of Fire State Park, um, we're we're gonna have to return to Vegas so that we can really do this place justice. But keep that in mind. If you guys are out here and if you've been to Vegas before, you've mm -hmm. done the gambling thing and you're looking for something different, mm -hmm. you know, see what's around because mm -hmm. there, there's quite a bit here. Absolutely. Well, TJ happened to notice that um, Seven Magic Mountains, the road that runs right in front of Seven, Ma Seven Magic Mountains, is actually Las Vegas Boulevard. Um, so we got on our phones and checked, and sure enough, that's basically the same thing as the Las Vegas Strip, as far as we can tell. So it wasn't originally in our plans to drive down the Strip, but we figured since it's just a straight shot, why not go check it out? And we're, we're kind of curious to see what it looks like during the pandemic. Yeah, I mean, we're guessing that, you know, people aren't there and walking around, but we don't know, so we're gonna go check it out. Yeah, it should be, assuming it is empty, which we hope it is, it should be kind of neat to see the strip empty. Pretty vacant, pretty bare, and there's not a lot of people down here. A few stragglers. Seems like there's a larger police presence. Uh, but I find it strange that the buses are still running. The bus system is still running. Must be so, considered essential. Figure, I guess so. <laughs> Well, the plan was to um, drive over the Pat Tillman Bridge and if possible, uh, stop and get a view of the Hoover Dam from a distance, but um, they actually have a checkpoint there and they're stopping all traffic. And unless you need to cross the bridge to get into Arizona, they're not letting you pass. If you're just doing like we were trying to do and be sightseers, they're they're stopping people and, and turning them around. Um, you know, we thought while in the area, it might be something cool to do. We knew we wouldn't be able to go to the actual Hoover Dam, um, but we thought we might be able to at least walk across that Pat Tillman Bridge and see it from a distance while still being safe and social distancing. But completely understand why they're not. No, no complaints, it just was a plan that didn't work out. Next week, our month at the campground in Las Vegas is up, and we have to decide what's next for us. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.